So this is Google Photos. Now, Google Photos has been around for a while now, and uh, I just recently switched to it. I wanted a, a free solution to back up all my photos and videos instead of paying Apple to store it in iCloud. So I decided to switch to Google Photos, and pretty much the idea behind this is Google will store all your photos and videos for free for life. You don't have to pay a penny. So the idea behind this is Google wants to gain a customer trust. They feel like if the customer can trust the company enough to store all their memories in all their photos and videos in the cloud with Google, they feel like if the customer has that much trust for the company, uh, then that relationship is very strong between the customer and the company and in turn, uh, the customer will go to Google more often if they need a product or a service. So when it first was announced, it was kind of a risk from Google, but it definitely, uh, for me, it feels like I can trust the company more since they're uh, safely securing my photos in the cloud and uh, I don't have to worry about them uh, being accidentally deleted off my computer's hard drive, etc. They're safe in the cloud and uh, I definitely feel like they are secure in Google's uh, servers. So let's jump into the application here. You can see it looks just like a regular photo backup and uh, viewing application. You can see all your photos here. If you scroll down, you can see them uh, as time uh, goes back. Uh, I think I've backed up all my photos from 2014. So I have uh, about 800 or 900 photos and videos in here. It took about two hours to back up all my photos. So keep that in mind that if you wanna switch to Google Photos, if you wanna back up all the photos initially, it will take a while. But uh, once you have all of them backed up, it definitely is convenient to go back in time and see all those photos and videos. So if we go into a photo here, we can edit it just as you would expect in a regular application. We have some filters here. We can change the light, the color. Uh, we can crop it. We can rotate it. Pretty much every basic editing uh, feature that you would expect from uh, a regular photo viewing and editing application here. So. Back to my original point, customer trust. I definitely feel like I can trust Google with all my photos, but there are some features of it that I don't like. For example, it now feels like all my photos uh, are Google's property, which is kind of weird. I feel like to be able to access my photos, I have to go to a website. I have to go to the Google Photos website, and to access my photos on here, I have to be online. So it kind of feels like my photos don't belong to me anymore, kind of like they did when they were on the hard drive of my computer. But uh, I guess that's what you'd expect when they're in the cloud. So you do, have to, you do have to have internet access to access all these photos, but that is the one drawback of uploading them all to the cloud. I would have to say that this did free up a whole bunch of space when I was on vacation. I took a whole bunch of photos. I'd simply plug my phone in at night. I'd let them back up. And then in the morning, I would uh, go ahead and click that free up space button and it would remove all the photos that have already been backed up. So a uh, very cool feature. I'll show you quickly how it backs up photos. So I have a photo of a dog here on Google. Let's select one. Let's save it to my camera roll. I'll go save image. We'll go back into uh, Google Photos. And you can see right there, it says backing up photos, one item left, and then as simple as that, it says backup complete, and now it's safely stored in the cloud. So now if I go to that free up space option, I can click this and it says remove one item and I can remove it from my phone and it will uh, free up all that space on my phone since it's now backed up to the cloud. So Google Photos, definitely a great idea. If you do want to securely store all your photos and videos in the cloud, keep in mind that uh, it does max out at 16 megapixels and 1080p for video, and it does downscale some of the photos just uh, very slightly. So if you're a pixel peeper, kind of like I am, and you want the original quality of your photos, you might want to consider paying for this service. They do offer a paid version uh, where you do get to keep the high quality version of your photos and videos. So guys, that's Google Photos. Thank you for watching. I'll leave a link in the description where you can uh, go uh, check out Google Photos. It's an app that's available for iOS, Android, and you can also go to the website. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, tell me in the comments below what you think of Google Photos. My name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.